guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Bianca. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell because I upload videos every single week. So you wanna make sure that you get a notification every time I have a brand new video. All right, so I got a question from one of you guys asking about tattoos. I'm gonna put it up here on the screen. So I thought that I'll just film an entire video dedicated to this topic because I think it's quite important. I just wanna share my own personal experience with tattoos. With regards to models having tattoos, this is something that a few years ago was very strict if you had tattoos as a model you were kind of just put into the alternative category and it was a little bit frowned upon within the industry but of course things are changing and we are starting to see the industry opening up and we are seeing more and more mainstream models with tattoos this is from an international standpoint now within the South African modeling industry I do have to say from my own personal experience we are still not a hundred percent there yet now the reason and I'm also making this video is because I myself do have a number of tattoos. I did a video explaining every single one of my tattoos to date so I'm gonna put the link in the description box below so that you guys can check it out if you want to. So in the South African modeling industry we are a little bit more backward and we aren't there a hundred percent but it is starting to slowly open up. I've been to a number of shoots where they either love the tattoos and were like yes this is amazing it actually really helps with the character that you're trying to embody or they don't want the tattoos at all and they want a more clean look so here's my advice if you are a beginner model and you're starting out in the industry I would suggest not getting too many tattoos in the beginning especially when you are building your brand and you are starting to work with different clients because you need to get to a point where people know who you are and because of the fact that in South Africa in the modeling industry we are a little bit more backward when it comes to models having tattoos I would suggest taking it slow so if you want to get a few small harmless ones that's totally fine Fine, but if you're looking to get a sleeve or something like that and still pursue a career in modeling it may lessen your chances especially when you're trying to break into the industry so if you are a beginner model and you don't have any tattoos and you want to get tattoos I would suggest waiting it out a little bit just finding your way finding your feet and just establishing yourself as a model first now if you are a beginner model and you do have tattoos it's really not the end of the world and I wanted to share with you a few products which I use myself to cover up my tattoos either for specific casting or when I am on set and they want me to have my tattoos covered up. I've gotten to a point where I've been modeling for almost a decade now and I've established my brand, I've established who I am and I've also taken my position within the modeling industry. So I'm at a point now where clients are starting to book me as Bianca the brand as opposed to just Bianca the model and this takes time. Let's go back to a number of years when I was just starting out in 2011. I had one tattoo and it was on my rib cage and it was very easy to hide or it was actually not even that visible at all unless I was in a bikini and even then I could just always pull my bra over it and it would just cover that up. But starting out I didn't have a lot of tattoos and I just made sure that I was a blank canvas. I got into the industry, I started doing jobs. I'm now in the position where if I do want to have a few tattoos it's not going to be the end of the world. I'm also at a point now where I can pick and choose the jobs that I actually want to do. Whereas when you're starting out as a model you're trying to take on as much work as possible so that you can be seen as much as possible. Let's say you have a tattoo, right? And you want to cover it up. I'm going to share with you guys my favorite product which I use on set to cover up some of my tattoos. Also to make the makeup artist's job easier because they do have the products for this but it always helps to arrive with some of my tattoos already partially covered just so that we can lessen the work time so that you can just make it a pleasant experience because it does take quite a bit of time especially when you have a lot of tattoos. So the first product I use is a camouflage cream from Crayolin. It's made specifically for dealing with tattoos or scarring. So I'm gonna demo that on my tattoo over here. Sorry about this lighting guys, if I come forward a little bit you can actually see shadows and stuff, apologize for that. But I wanna come closer to show you the texture of this cream. So that is the camouflage cream. I'll take the back end of a makeup brush. Using my left hand to do this, so it may not be the smoothest, most nice looking application, but it does the job, okay? So I put that in a little bit. All right, so you can see that's how much I've got just on the end of the brush. Okay, hi, you guys are much closer, but I think this is a better view. So here's my tattoo. So I'm gonna take the camouflage cream and put that on. Then I take the other end of the brush and I basically pat it in. Okay. 
is still a little bit showing, so I'm going to take a little bit more of the cream and I'm going to put that on. And you want to just be gentle with it, just dabbing it lightly. Okay, let's go a little bit more. This product is also from Crayolin. This is the uh, Dermacolor Fixing Powder. So this is also from Crayolin and I absolutely love this product. These products are quite expensive, but they really do last a while. Um, I've had this for quite a few months and it's just an investment that I have to make as a model that has tattoos. It really does come in handy. So making sure that you have this is really important. I'm gonna take a powder brush. I use this one from Bobbi Brown. All right, and we're just gonna dab some of that in. And basically now we need to set the cream that I just put onto my hands. So now I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna do that one more time. All right, and literally it's gone. So now once all of that is done, that's just the first part, right? Then now I use the Crayolin Fixing Spray. This is now to top everything off. This spray helps to make everything smudge proof and waterproof as well. So that's why I really love this spray. So I'm just gonna shake it a little. Okay, now I'm gonna let that dry a bit. But look at that guys, it literally works like magic. Seriously, it's gone. Like it's basically gone. Okay, so I've got some toilet paper here and I wanna show you guys, if I press onto the area, nothing comes off. So I'll show you one more time. And basically this spray helps it to remain smudge proof and waterproof. So if I was doing some shots where I was swimming or I need to like rub arms with someone or you know someone needs to grab my arm or something, it's not going to come off. That is what I absolutely love about this trio of products. So let's look at that one more time. It's basically gone. And you see, so for my tattoo here as well, you know, I'll do the exact same process. And that's literally it, that's how it works. So now that I've moved back a bit, I wanna show you again, you literally can't see the tattoo and it's completely smudge proof. Okay guys, I really hope that this video helped you, especially if you have a lot of tattoos or you're thinking of getting tattoos and you're worried about booking jobs in the future. Honestly, there's so many amazing products out there that can help you. And don't let the fact that you have tattoos stop you from booking a job. Always make sure that you are prepared. I would definitely suggest getting the camouflage cream as well as the fixing powder and of course the fixing spray as well. These three products have helped me so much just to remain prepared on set because it's still something that's slowly happening but also just remember the tips and advice that I gave you at the beginning of this video. I really hope that this helped you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me once again. I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it and if you found it helpful because it definitely does support my channel. Let me know down below any other videos that you would like for me to create for you and until next time guys, I'll see you in my next video.